So a couple years ago, I was trying to get my Phantom One flying. Now I bought this offline. Um, I forget what, who I bought it off now, but anyway, it's a good it's a good company. Now the only thing that I couldn't do for some reason, I knew the GPS was working because the green light was flashing. Guys, if you don't know what I'm on about, the Phantom was the very first. Uh, drone by DJI come out in 2000 I've got it all written down here 2013 so it's a long time ago uh, of January this was the very first drone that DJI bought out I had to get one because I just love aerial photography obviously the Phantom one is ever so basic you get like 10 minutes of battery life now at the moment I'm just Charging up the battery. I only got one battery of it. Um, I'll just show you that as well for a record. You've got to make sure that's plugged in there. Obviously, that's plugged on. You've got the red lights flashing. That'll go green once that's fully charged. So the range was, they say, 300 meters. I think that's a bit over the top. I think 100 meters if you was lucky. You had supposedly 15 minutes of flight time. But really, you had 10 minutes. Now, the only other thing of this drone was, this was all you had to control it. You couldn't see what you were doing. You didn't have no app in those days, guys. You just literally saw the drone. You had control of the sticks, and that was it. And once the battery ran out, if you didn't time it, it would fall out the sky. Now, I lost two of these, and this is why I bought another one a couple of years back. It's a bit of a, a memory for me, but also... Um, I just, I just, I did love flying it. Camera on it, because it shaped around a bit. But this was the sort of the first thing that got me hooked on the drone flying. Anyway, the video I made two years ago, I set it all up. We went out to fly it. GPS kicked in, but I just couldn't get the motors to go. So I've left it until now. Now somebody did say to me a while back, sure maybe it's because you have the, the controller is not binded with the drone now it's possible i don't know the guy could have got another controller i mean it looks pretty new to me um so i watched some videos on how to bind this together and the only way you can do that is by literally stripping it down now the the major problem that i had was <laughs> i couldn't get there's one screw i just couldn't get off so all I could do is this. Anyway, in their video, the what it is, you got like an LED light in there, and when you turn it on, it is red. So what you do, you just press. There's a button next to it. You press that. Hello. Oh right, hang on. It's all right. Going back to what I was on about. <laughs> yeah. So trying to link it was a nightmare because in the video, the uh, linking button, as I call it. I'll put a little diagram here of what it should be. Uh, was on the top. But on, on my drone, it happened to be, you're not going to see it very well, but it's underneath. But you, I could get a screwdriver in there and press it. So what I did have, I, I've got another controller, a, a, a newer one, very similar to this one, but it, it just wouldn't link. But what I did notice, it, it was linked to this drone because every time I turn off the controller, I've got a yellow light. When I turned it back on again, like that, um, I started to get the GPS signal on it. So I knew that these two were linked, but I just couldn't get the motors to work. <laughs> Which I just thought, oh, maybe the um, the main board on there, maybe that was, they said, say, maybe the transmitter thing's gone and you've got to replace it. And I thought, I'm not going to go down that road. I could have gone online somewhere and got a new uh, like motherboard, but I just thought, I'm not going to go for all that. Because it would have ended up me breaking this to get it all off. Uh, and I wasn't prepared to do that. Anyway, while searching last night on good old YouTube, I found this young lad, and he was saying the same problem. You couldn't understand it. Nothing in the manual about it, why the motors don't work. And he found a trick. So I'm telling you this trick now. Because it worked. And he said, what you got to do, he said, when you connect the battery to 
the lead here, um, as soon as you put it in, it, it makes like a connection sound. It goes, blub, blub, blub. And as soon as it does that, as soon as it does that, I'll just put that down again because I haven't, I haven't completely stripped it down. As soon as you do that, you just put your sticks in and the motor's worked. So, we're going to see in a moment, because you're not going to see me putting this all back. It'll probably take me about a couple of hours because these screws are so... I'll, put, I'll show that one. They're so small and fiddly. I've got big fingers because it is going to take me a long time to put this together. Anyway, we're going to put it all back together again. I'm going to show you what I'm on about. Catch you in a moment. So that didn't take too long, put it all together. I managed to get one screw that I put in the wrong hole um, and it's stuck in there at the moment, so I'm hoping that I'll... See, I'm not really good at these sort of things. But if an old bloke like me can do it, you you lot can, especially if you've got this sort of problem. Yeah. So what you've got to do, and I've got the, the really, what I call the original, where it takes takes, takes batteries. And what you got to do, guys, you've got to turn that on. Now, I've seen some videos saying that's got to be red because I haven't got the drone on yet, but mine's green. I know it's right. Got to make sure the switches are up. And also, with mine, that stick doesn't stay down, whereas on some it does. Well, this one, they just stay in the middle. But don't worry about that. So to get it started, it's either bring the sticks in or bring the sticks out. And that will start the motors. But you're going to get the hang of it in a minute. So, what you do, you put this on. And as soon as you do that, you bring the sticks in straight away. Now, the guy said... That's the only way you could get it to work. So what you got to do then is you just got to wait until these lights. <laughs> it's making a funny sound, isn't it? Okay. I'll just, I'll, what I will do, I will check the screws to make sure everything's tightened up. I mean, obviously, I haven't got the props on. And then to stop this, you just bring the sticks back in and that stops it. And I'll see if I, Okay, it's working now. Interesting, because I couldn't even get the motors working. Right, so what I will do, just to test this, I'm just going to disconnect this a minute. So that's disconnecting now. Because he did say every time he has to turn the drone on now, he has to do it straight away. So what we're going to do, we're going to plug it in. Obviously, I've got the controller on. Put that on there. Yeah. I'm just going to... I'm just going to leave it a moment because what you're supposed to do is you wait until the green light starts flashing. Which could take quite a while. That's the only other thing about this type of drone. You had to wait until the green lights appeared. The green lights mean it's, you got GPS signal. Now, I couldn't get these motors working at all. Um, this is why I thought maybe it's not binded. So, I can't see. I mean, probably won't get a GPS signal in here anyway. I mean, I'd be pretty amazed. Well, we get, well we got, we're getting the green light. Okay. So, anyway, it should. See, it's not working now. So, which way I'll do it, it's not working. So, this guy said... As soon as you plug the battery in, you've got to do the stick straight away and the motors will work. He said there's nothing in the manual, as I said before. So, if you've got problems, it's nothing to do with your binding or your transmitter things packed up. It's because of some issue to do with the controller and the drone, but it works, which I will show you again if you didn't believe me. So it's off. So I'll just plug it in now. 
and I just press those sticks straight away and it worked. Cut it. And now it works. Amazing, isn't it? We learn something every day in this place. <laughs> so obviously the next thing I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put the props on. I'm gonna attach my camera to this. And you see it fly. Okay guys, I just thought before I get the drone going, I'll just show you the this is the backpack that you would have needed, or the bag that you would have needed to put your Phantom in. And I'm talking about the Phantom, the Vision Plus, the Phantom 3, even the Phantom 4, which you can still buy the Phantom 4. But here's the bag of my Mini. So you can just see, vast difference, so much easier. I mean, to be quite honest, you could put my Mini 3 in the side pocket uh, and I could carry the controller around my neck. But yeah, this is the bag that you would need. Controller. I'm not going to go through it all. If Guys, if you're interested and you've got the Phantom and you're having problems with it, and you want me to do a proper how the, how the Phantom works, then I'll, I'll make a video. But at the moment, I'm just going to go through it quickly. It's a little bit windy. I'm surprised, as always. So what you do, I turn on the controller first. So the controller's on now. You just heard that click. You've got to make sure that these two switches are upwards anyway. Now on this type of controller, the sticks are just normal. Some stay down, these don't. So this is the battery. This is the battery I'm going to need to put into the drone. This is going to be a little bit tricky. I've got my action camera on the bottom of the, of the drone. I'll turn that on first because um, I'll just get problem with this it doesn't do very well on the heat the old action camera okay just so that's that's on recording all the time now if I wanted to do photographs you'd have to have it on continuous photo but I'm just gonna do the video so we drop down the hatch we get out the connecting cable I'm gonna get ready with this as well because I've got to get this to go straight away um, okay it's a little bit fiddly. Okay. Right. So that's got the motors going. What I'm gonna do, hopefully, I can just turn them off for the moment. Right, they're off, because I wanna put all this wiring away a minute. I'm gonna put this in. Now, some people used to have problems. I, I was one of them. This door wasn't very good, so because you can see that those wires are hanging out of the back. But anyway, I'm going to leave that for the moment. Okay, so I'm going to put this over here a minute. So fingers crossed, officially, when I do that again. Right. So, you got 10 minutes of this, but... I mean, I'm hoping you, you can, I'll just bring it down a little bit. Not too low. And this is what we're gonna, it's, it can, it's quite fierce on the old sticks. So I'll just bring that back. Now, obviously on this, you've got no avoidance. And it, if you can notice, it is sort of wandering around a bit. I'm pretty chuffed with this because this brings back so many memories. Now, I'm talking 11 years ago. Right, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring it into land a moment. So what I've done, I've done it again. I've I don't know if you can see that, but we've got the green light now. The green light means the, the GPS is in. So. It does seem to be a little bit more with it now. I'm just going to bring it over this way a little bit. Now, you, if you, the first one we did, it was just a little bit, a bit over. I'll just bring it down a little bit. 
Okay, it seems a lot more steadier now. So that's what we gotta make sure. I didn't really check the first time I took it up. It's not until I noticed around that the, um, the, the yellow is light. If the yellow's light, that means that there's no GPS lock on it. And you can see now, even though in this wind, I'll just bring it over a little bit more. And I'll just turn it a bit. It's a little bit more, I'm mean, trying to also explain that that camera, the, the action free camera is pretty heavy compared to the drone, to be honest. And I'm wondering if that's, you see it's starting to, let's put it up a bit. Let's do, I'm just trying to, so you guys can see but I think for a practice drone, because obviously you've got no screen or nothing, you're actually following the drone and you're using the sticks a lot more than you would normally do. I'll just bring it in a bit closer. <laughs> now, like I said, you've only got 10 minutes and we've been flying a bit. I've only got, um, only got the one battery. But it's flying a lot better now. I think the first time, as I said before, it is all over the place, but now it's a lot more steady. If I turn it around, see, off it goes. Now, obviously, if I bring that down, drone down a bit, this is supposed to be, even though to me that's the back, that's the actual front of the drone. Let's bring it up a bit. You know what? I'm enjoying this. I'm enjoying this. Landing's a bit different because the other thing is I only bought out the blades that's on the drone. I've got loads of these blades at home anyway. Um, so there, there it is. I mean, I'm not going to get it on that landing pad. I'm just going to let the drone go back a little bit. Okay, and just bring it down. Cutting the motors, motors have stopped. Did you enjoy that? As much as I enjoyed it. I mean, I really enjoyed that and I'm glad I've got it to work. Because that was, I just thought I bought it. It's brought back a lot of memories. I've lost two of these with cameras on because of the 10 minute thing. Um, yeah, good old days, eh? <laughs> 11 years ago, can't believe it. So what you do, you can turn off the controller. Let's just go and get the drone. So you can see vast difference in it. You look at the Mini 3 Pro with its camera actually in the drone, whereas the uh, the Phantom, you had a hanger, and either an action camera of some sort below it. Obviously, these drones got a lot better like, to what they are now. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the vid. As always, there'll be another video coming very soon. Mm -hmm.